Welcome back to Mass Appeal, everyone. If you're looking for a helping hand to just get you through the tough times or just someone to talk to about your day, therapy might be the perfect option for you. Family therapist Ken Dolan Del Vecchio is here with tips to finding the perfect therapist for you. Thanks so much for coming in. Oh, great being with Pleasure you. having you, as always. Now, first off, I want to discuss, because I personally feel that in society today, it has a negative stigma that comes along with therapy. And therapy is seen only when you really need it or when things are going really, really bad. But that's not always the case. No, and it's just so important to talk about that. It's, it's a life skill mm -hmm. to ask for help. It's wise to ask for help. It doesn't mean you're weak. When we need a plumber or mm -hmm. we need to see a physician or we need legal advice, we go to an expert. Mm -hmm. Each of us has expertise in many areas. But we may not be an expert in mental health mm -hmm. and in how to navigate some pretty significant life challenges. And that's where the therapy can come in. So, if, for example, if you are struggling with a down mood, your mm -hmm. frame of mind is really negative and you can't seem to get yourself... Shake it. You, you can't seem to let it go. Or you're, you're having so much stress that it's hard for you to do the things that you need to do every day. Or as Dr. O was talking about, if you have a habit that you can't get rid of that either has to do with using a substance mm -hmm. or, or maybe over, overspending or spending too much time on the internet, it's intruding on getting everything done in life that you need to get done. You deserve help. And I think oh, it's sure. important to use that word deserve. You don't have to go. You don't necessarily nobody's going to tell you to go mm -hmm. but you deserve it we deserve help when we're not feeling well exactly because there's there's no worse feeling than than bottling things inside yeah, absolutely. and even like i even said it's it's not just for the negative if you want to just go to a therapist to just chat mm -hmm. just have <laughs> that outside experience have that second lending hand mm -hmm. because you know, your family will have opinions, and these people will have opinions, and everyone will have opinions, but it's important to have that professional opinion, that professional helping hand, because it might be a totally new insight that you've never heard of before. It can only help. It's not going to hurt you. And so you might think about the different kinds of therapists. Mm -hmm. So therapists come from a number of different backgrounds. Mm -hmm. Most of them are going to have a master's or a doctoral degree in psychology or social work and probably training beyond that as well. Some are going to be nurse clinicians, some mm -hmm. are going to be have their doctorate in education or divinity. And, and one of the things that's most important though is whether or not this person has experience mm -hmm working with the particular concerns that you bring. Can they help you with your particular needs? Now, I think a good place to start is to find uh, people that you know, you, your peers with, your family. Referrals, word of mouth is a good place to start. Just like any other professional who you might be seeking help from, it's a good idea to get a referral. Mm -hmm. And as you said, it might be from somebody in your family who's had a particularly good experience with their therapist. It might very well be from your physician. It might be from a community of faith leader. It might be from an employee pr assistance professional mm -hmm. who's provided by your workplace. Because that way, you've got another You've got another experience and perhaps a professional opinion saying, I know this person has helped many people. They might very well be a great help for you as well. And a good place to start is, you know, interview a few different therapists because yeah. then you find who really connects with you. You know, it might not be a perfect fit the first time and that's okay. Yeah, and, and that's something that many people don't keep in mind. You are the customer. Mm -hmm. You are the client. So when you go and talk to a therapist, and often it's a good idea to have a couple referrals mm -hmm. and go to interview both of them and ask them questions about have you worked with people who are bringing my particular issue to you, whether it's a relationship conflict or maybe it's just you want to get some sure. ideas that are from outside you as you were discussing. And it makes sense to Ask them questions like, how do you go about helping people? Mm -hmm. Do you set goals or is it, is it more open-ended? Do you tend to have a particular philosophy 
that you operate from. Tell me about that philosophy. Tell me about your background. Tell mm -hmm. me about your degree. It's really important to have that back and forth relationship. Unfortunately, we are out of time, but Ken, thank you so much oh. for coming in. It's always such a pleasure. You know, you bring Same such here. insight to our show, and I really, really appreciate that. Thanks so More much. More information about picking the perfect therapist right on my message.